<laughs> Morning. Oops. There's a few buttons. Steven will be up in <laughs> a minute. And I was just gonna answer, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Every so often I just get like a little tiny like <laughs> cough and like that's it for the whole day. And when that's not happening, I feel back to normal. Are we done with COVID? Yes. Um, I have tested negative multiple times. Steven tested negative Sunday? I wanna say Sunday. He's gonna test again today. So that, that's basically done. Steven has a bigger stream deck. This is the small one. Uh, we have two small ones and one big one. And the big one is down at tabletop. <laughs> a live COVID testing? Uh, he'll probably test tonight. Is his dizziness gone? Um, I don't think so completely. So he still has an ENT on Friday. Just to make sure. So we'll see. But he has that. Go to bed. I am so tired, Haley. I was up a little late. Hopefully he doesn't do during disc only. I mean, he can. He just can. <laughs> but um, I'm not feeling up to biking yet. I desperately want to bike, but I have been um, told that I should not. And that sucks. <laughs> Haley, don't let your memes stay dreams. But Brandon bike 17 miles. Yeah, Brandon got better first and didn't have rebound. <laughs> Chess says, good news everyone, events are carrying socks and screaming still happens in Raleigh House. I'm really glad to hear that. I mean, I don't hear him, but like, I'm glad to hear from you that he still does that. There are constants in Vencer's world and holding socks and screaming are one of them. Good morning. Good morning. Chess said that Vencer still walks around with socks and screams. That's good. Sagan used to do that with toys. He did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. I did a tea. I left myself just enough time to go downstairs and get a coffee. Uh-huh, but not tea. And then when I got downstairs, I was like, I want tea. And now I'm slightly late. How are y'all? <laughs> Tea sounded good. I've had a lot of coffee lately. And I drink decaf. Like, I've drank... Mm -hmm. I have drank exclusively decaf at home since January 2023. And, um, that helps my body mm -hmm. not, um, do a bad. But, uh, sometimes I'm like, it could just be coffee in general mm. so um i'm gonna do tea for a bit okay yeah add excitement to your daybreak routine with tiny eddie's barbecue penguin lumps you know what i thought this morning i need some excitement and the only way you can get excitement is barbecue penguins? Is hunting penguins. If you're not eating your penguin with barbecue sauce, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, barbecue is also a method of cooking. That's true. Which part of the penguin is the lump? <laughs> Which part of the chicken is the nugget? <laughs> Please take this. Yeah, I was like, you're gonna have to scroll down. I know. And you're like, no. This is just yours. <laughs> oh, you know. 
That was 1050 from an East who says, Hey Eddie, today was our first cool day of fall. Can I have a warming snack? Also good vibes to everyone. I mean, if you, you will be warm over the, uh, the, the radiant heat of the, the barbecue. barbecue grill. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just head down to your local zoo. <laughs> we got 18 months from Cave Bat. 35 months from a Goodway Game Leet. 29 from Swift for Sweeper. 58 from Darbicus. 6 from Sky uh, Pirate Fina. 31 from Haley May. 21 from Sacadamus. 40 from Full Mellow Grizz. Uh, 300 bits from Tricky Anthea. It says, For once, I am here in hopes of spreading good vibes to others. A longtime follower of my art donated the money I needed for my disability back pay, which resulted in a lot of tears and gratitude. Things are starting to look up, and I hope it stays this way. That's awesome. Wonderful. That's awesome. Good vibes. Yes. Good vibes. We, we, good vibes go two ways, right? You can request good vibes, but then also if things are going well, you can give good vibes. And uh, it's not until you sit in front of bright lights that you realize how dirty your glasses are. Your glasses mm -hmm. are. We have a 43 month resub from Stoop Kid 241. Three months from Cho Tree Keeper. 28 months from Sweet Serene. You good now? Yes. 36 months from Circle Now Squared. Congrats on the three. 19 months from H.W. Wilson, 64 months from Jam Meepler, 11 from Tech Absol, and Vegetable Sorbet gives three subs to YXTR, DNOB98, CJ47. Vegetable, thank you. Oh, and 26 months from Screaming Salad Radishes. Thank you. Morning, Sab. Uh. Oh. I'm tired. <laughs> Let me tell you about my body. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh no. No. Oh no. I could probably just lick that. <laughs> How could this happen to me? Uh so I Tested negative. I said that, yes. Oh. Was that Sunday? I wasn't. I missed the first minute of the stream. I know. I tested negative. Mm -hmm. 22 days after my initial symptoms, I tested negative. Um, I mean, there's a chance I could have been negative a little before that, yeah. but not by much because. Four days before that, I had tested positive, so, like, it's fun when it lasts, um, so long. So, yeah, uh, I'll, uh, I'll test again. Was that Sunday? That was Sunday. Yeah, test night. again tonight. Yeah. I'll test again before bed. Um, again, like, I, I can't imagine that I would be contagious in the first place, because it's been so long, but... The double negative 48 hour part thing will will allow me the peace of mind to be like, okay. It's over. You know, I can breathe on Dan again. Which is really what this has all been about. So. Yeah, but um I'm doing good. The only the only part of me that is bad is uh when I go out to do like an exercise. Your fitness. <laughs> Your soul. <laughs> <laughs> is uh is is my fitness because um we went out for a, a walk it's that well, we I, only we, got a mile we've we've done two different walks yeah we've done two different walks and when i do the walks um i don't do very well i get just a little bit in and i'm like oh no so it's gonna take a bit maybe for that to get fixed um but that's, that's it. Yeah. You've been doing the 1.4 mile walks? Yeah, that's, um, it's gonna take me a little bit of time. This is the GTA song. <laughs> Poor GTA. 
And uh, yeah, I think that's the only thing really going on with me. Do you have that little cough too? It's so little. Yeah, it's like once a day. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. It, that I mean, that is what it is. It's like yeah. once or and twice like a now, day. I'm I just feel like, 100 percent fine. I'm just like. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my allergy meds to kick in. Um, my insomnia seems to have left, which is good. Mm -hmm. How's um, dizziness? Dizziness is still there. Okay. Yeah, dizziness is still there, but I haven't had any dizzy spells like, like the crazy ones of like ah, that's gone. Okay. Um, but the like the very low level like, it's really really low level, but it's there. It's like present. It's like barely present, but it's there. I have an ENT appointment, and I I guess I'm gonna keep it and see if they'll rotate my head. Anyway, we got 43 months from gamers, 007 to below. 54 months from Aldo. 24 months from anime 1991. That's a two. Congrats on two. I mean, sometimes you gotta roll your crystals around. I love the th my again. My favorite thing about that is that like that's real and it just doesn't sound real. Yeah. If you tell someone, you know, if you tell someone you're gonna get your crystals rotated, they're like, "What?" And Haley says, "Only have them do that if you're still dizzy." I mean, I'm gonna talk to them and find Explain out what I should and I should do because like when I had the Epley maneuver done. The first time, back in 20-whatever, um, I was very dizzy. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'm not very dizzy, but, like, something's not right. Well, maybe she'll look in your ear and see something. That might that might yeah. explain everything. Like, if I still have some sort of, like, inflammation or something in my ear, um, that could explain yeah. something. Mm -hmm. I will find out soon, and I'm happy to find out. Uh, gamers gifted to sub two, Sab Irene, appreciate it. 13 months from PF Dog, and 33 months from Ken to Queen. Thank you. Yeah, um. That's the only part that, I mean, that and the, the exercise, the yeah. only parts, I think, that are still a problem. That and my hair being too long, but I guess it doesn't have anything to do with COVID. You have a haircut scheduled. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna get mine trimmed too. Yeah. Haley is on fire. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and your attitude. Things have been going pretty good here over the weekend, though. Like, aside from just healing up a little bit and, yeah. um,. walking outside and feeling bad about walking everything else is going pretty good it is march now wasn't it march on yeah, it was march friday though it's it's true it has there hasn't been a march breakfast stream yet but there has been a march stream oh my body is so that is that is one thing i have not like exercised enough to do that Free Windy Doom Guy figurine in every box. Tiny Eddie's Cocktail Sauce Bark. Cocktail Sauce Bark. I can't even begin to think of any of that, so um, I'll let you unwrap that. That's pretty easy to do. Like, you know how they make bark? The... What, the what's, what do they make bark out of? Trees? No, 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 no. The... The... Chocolate? I mean, yeah, that's not what I think of when I think of bark, but yes, they do make chocolate bark. Um, what is bark? What, are they, what am I thinking? Peppermint bark? That's a better thing than I was thinking of. I was thinking of, like, uh, butterscotch or something. Toffee? Peppermint bark makes more sense. Anyway, you can make bark out of anything. You could make bark out of cocktail sauce. I'm going back to bed. Like, there's no reason you can't solidify that 
You're thinking of brittle. Oh, I am definitely thinking of brittle. Back to bed with both of us. I have a question. What? What's the difference between brittle and bark? Um, I think brittle is specifically sugar-based, and bark is not. Is that it? Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. Well, I mean, it's the same. Why do, why do we need a separate word for that? Just because it insinuates because that, that there will be sugar? Because at some point, someone made a new word, and now it is lexicon. Bark is hard and brittle is brittle. Wait, which one is... Trust Noah. <sighs> Hold on. Sav had information also. Brittle normally is the cooking of sugar at a high temperature and bark is chocolate maced. Because yeah. like... So brittle insinuates sweet. It insinuates that it's caramel because when you cook sugar, it caramelizes. That's why I said it was sugar. It's like a, that's how you make candy. Like, you make caramel. And bark. Because chocolate bark, that, just chocolate bark would not. Chocolate would... bark is basically candy bars. Like chocolate. Yeah. Like, you just take chocolate and then you, like, melt it and put stuff on it and then you break it into shards. Yeah, but it's it's not like a. There's no sugar added to that. It's just like no, the natural the, whatever. Whatever chocolate you're melting. We do always learn here. This is an educational show. You, come here. Come here. Or don't. I didn't actually read this alert. We just got really focused on what cocktail sauce bark was. This is a thousand bits from Vinny G Plays. It says, all right, Eddie, I am just woken up. So tell me what I should have for breakfast today. Hopefully it isn't too bad. I guess it really depends on how you feel about cocktail sauce. No. You don't like cocktail sauce at all? Nope. But... Not at all. Are you sure? Yes. When, do you know, when was the last time you had it? At your parents' house when your parents have made shrimp. Okay, because I'm thinking like, you like horseradish. It's fine. And you, you eat ketchup. Yeah. What if they got a little closer? They can get close together all they want, but I don't want to put it on anything. What mm. would I eat it on? Oh my god. Ooh, you can put cocktail sauce on so many things. So many things. Growing up, my family did not eat... Um, I don't like it on shrimp. Shrimp is the big thing. I just thing. want shrimp by itself. I want to taste the shrimp, not everything else. You can still taste the shrimp. It's, it's a shrimp thing, but growing up, my family didn't eat tartar sauce at all. I also don't like tartar. So when we went to the Captain D's, which we did a lot, um, we ate our fried fish with cocktail sauce. So I grew up eating cocktail sauce, like, a lot. Um, and, my, it's, <laughs> and it's great. My only love is sour cream. And, uh... What I would do is we'd go to the cocktail sauce. Uh, not the cocktail sauce, the Captain D's, sorry. <laughs> I'm awake. We went. We would go to the Captain D's and we would get the, the cocktail sauce and we'd dip like the fried fish in it. But then I would sometimes just not get a separate thing for ketchup. So I would just dip my French fries in cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce is basically uh, Whataburger spicy ketchup, but better. I will take no notes. <laughs> there, there is Remind no rebuttals me here. At 5 p.m. to find out where there's pierogies in Raleigh. Thomas shows up just to say wrong. <laughs> I like the I like the uh, Whataburger spicy ketchup. I know. But you couldn't put that on a fried fish. You could. No one's stopping you. We've spent a lot of time on this. I'm going to move on to the next thing. Come here. I have Blanky. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what we, 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 we Googled last night? What? Um, that I'm surprised about. And if we have any um, locals... 
Yeah, Chaz, we didn't even talk about Windy Doom Guy. There wasn't enough time. We had to talk about cocktail sauce. Um, if anyone that lives in the Raleigh area in the Triangle knows of any of these, let me know, because we looked and we couldn't find any. I realized that I wanted a breakfast buffet. Because back in Myrtle Beach, we had quite a few breakfast buffets um, to cater to golfers because golfers would get up in the morning. I know, I know, but yeah, breakfast buffets that aren't Golden Corral. I found some that were hotel based. Like all of them that I were finding was like, oh, in the Marriott, in the Hilton. Hi, you. Which makes sense. Oh, hello. Good morning. Although it's not going to be probably Good to the extent morning. of like a. No. A different place. Oh, aren't you, baby? I mean, okay. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it here. And if I say it here, it's law. <laughs> As is known on Breakfast Stream. I am willing to go back to the Golden Corral for breakfast. Have fun. I'll go to um, Pam's Farmhouse Restaurant. I over by, am. Uh... I am curious. What? That's a horrible law. I am curious. No, <laughs> no one doubted that you were willing. Um, I don't know who would be interested in going with me. Someone, maybe. <laughs> Everyone else is going to go to Pam's with me. It's not the same, though. Mm. Pam, okay, so you know, um, uh, what's the place we always went in uh, Little River? Up on the hill that has the breakfast buffet, but sometimes they don't. Oh, yeah. Um, Mama, Mama, Mama Jeans. Jeans. So you know Mama Jeans, but without the buffet? That's what Pam's is. Oh, that sounds like a good place to eat. I know. We're all going to go to Pam's. You can go to Golden Corral for brunch. I just want to see. I I have been to a Golden Corral for breakfast before. Like, that's that's happened. Um, I've done that. It's been years and years and years ago, but I, I have done that. <laughs> Please dual vlog. Steven at Golden Corral alone and Mal at Pam's with everybody. I wonder how much the the breakfast buffet at Golden Corral is. Cuz it can't be as much like one of one of the one of the problems with Golden Corral was that it was like $17. I was like this is too much money. But at breakfast they it should be cheaper. The breakfast buffet should be like Eleven dollars. I agree, Haley. Too much money for that bathroom bathroom situation. Well, at breakfast time, there hasn't been enough time for someone to have done that. Mm, but what if it's from the day before? Oh God, are you insinuating that they wouldn't clean the floor? I'm just saying it was an endless stream of people who were like, "This isn't my problem." <laughs> like coffee? Oh, well, listen. The trick, the trick is to get in right at the right, right when the doors open. Anyway, Golden Crow was not the idea I had when it came to breakfast buffets. We had legitimately good breakfast buffets in Myrtle Beach, but um, I guess there's not a big <laughs> golfing scene here, so we don't need to have restaurants that open at, you know, 2 a.m. It's fine. I guess we could do our own. Uh, we got 250 bits from Prowl, 245, 40 months from Zazzaz, my man. 300 bits from Genesis. It says, Good morning. Last night I started a modded Minecraft run where I attempt to beat the game without mining. Truly, I am a clown of clowns. That seems hard. Yeah. Because, like, how do you get like a stone pickaxe or a stone axe even to like chop trees down. Luna Boy said, so craft, <laughs> you're playing craft. I guess it's not impossible. No. Cause you need certain, in order to beat Minecraft, you have to, is I haven't played it in a long time, but like you have to still go to the, the end and fight the dragon, I'm assuming. And in order to do that, you need some things. 
Yes. That I suppose you don't have to mine, right? Because um, you have to get their special things that are in chests. But you'd have to, like, find your way to them first. It sounds hard. It sounds really hard. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I, mean, I wouldn't do that. He has his little paws crossed and his head on them. But I, I wish you well in that endeavor, because that certainly would be an interesting way of experiencing that game. Oh, put your head back. Put your head back. No? Okay, fine. If you just kind of ignore him, he'll lay his head back down, because that's the rest position. We have 300 bits from Jay Lineback says, Could I have some good vibes for my mother? She fell down and injured her right leg and needs to rest, so I've been looking after her. Also, Steven, you need to see the Rift Tracks Ghost of Golden Corral log. Well, I have that pulled up on my computer. <laughs> well, good vibes for your mom. Yes. First, uh, first and foremost. Sorry to hear that she hurt her leg, so hopefully she can just get some rest and that'll heal up quick. Mm -hmm. um, and I have heard about the Rift Tracks Ghost of Golden Corral log. You haven't watched it, right? No, it's like a whole thing you have to like buy. I okay. watched the trailer. Um, Maybe uh, we can do that. That sounds like something that Chaz would want to be involved yes. in. Yes. Um, we 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 can we can watch that with Chaz. Yeah. Have they not been to a Golden Corral? What is the story behind the need to create a production about Golden Corral? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they've done anything like this before. Chaz is uh, more with that than I am. I mean, we um, we also... It uh, felt like watching a very weird vlog that wasn't us. If you watch any vlog that's not us, it would be a vlog that's not us. Yeah, um, this... yeah they have made fun of Golden Corral a ton. I mean, that's very similar to what happened with us. It's like we always talked about Golden Corral being bad, so then we we're finally like, well, let's go. Chaz said, they have a regular joke that's uh, Golden Corral's new slogan whenever someone in the movie says something like, don't you know food when you see it? So they've just riffed on it a long time and mm -hmm. decided to actually go. Yeah. I would go back. I would, it, but I we would. know. <laughs> but it, just for breakfast, to try it. Just to, just to see what that was like. I don't know that I want to go again in the evening. There's better places to eat for half the price. But we know that. 50 months from seemingly Jess. 7 months from uh, Denj21. And uh, 300 bits from Jacebook says, Say hi to Jennifer and Kyle the next time you visit Golden Corral. I love to get um, propositioned at the buffet. What just happened? I don't know. I was distracted by the cat. What did you do? I did not over tilt this, but it came out of the something about the bag. I think it was a you problem. No. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> no, I don't know. The bag. The bag flipped inside the glass, which which created a wave of tea. <laughs> Dark Souls font dripper slopped. <laughs> There's your art cue. Your uh, your art prompt. <laughs> Three hundred bits. From uh, Hound Flash, it says, so I just looked it up. The Golden Crow Breakfast Buffet is twelve ninety nine a person. I don't even know if I'd go if it was five. I would go if it was five, Lord. <laughs> I'd eat a lot of things that if if it was five dollars. <sighs> I can eat for. Three dollars and forty-nine cents um, at the Costco. The cost of a hot dog combo and a pizza. Yeah. Thomas, all talk, no action. 
We went to Golden Corral, Thomas. That's action. That's action. I would, I would, I would, I would go try it again. Just to see. But mostly I'm just sad that there's nothing in Raleigh. You would think that Raleigh is big. Raleigh is big, have place enough. Why wouldn't it have a breakfast buffet somewhere? Like at least one. We, we, there's an Indian buffet. There's a couple. We have more than one? There's a couple. I want Thomas to visit so me and him can just do um, bad food ideas. I think I would really like that. Like you two go to the bad restaurants? We would go to the restaurants. And then me and him would eat um, 50 uh, chicken McNuggets. <laughs> Thomas, how about I visit and do good food ideas? Yeah, we gotta take Thomas to all the good places. I guess. I suppose. It's fine. So it's weird, the TV's all blurry where Thomas's message is. I can't quite read it. Maybe it's my glasses. I don't know. I can't see what he wrote. Anyway, I'm not going to worry myself about the, the, the breakfast because my philosophy now is like about the amount of times that I would want breakfast buffet is also about the amount of times I'll probably be like back in Myrtle Beach. When I'm back in Myrtle Beach, I can go. That's my thing. This tea's getting a little bitter. I think it's because I've had the bag in it for Put half, it in my coffee half cup. an hour. My coffee cup is empty. Oh, it's not going to fix it now. <laughs> oh, are we holding hands? Oh. Go boy. Okay. It's fine. It needs a little sugar Hi, now baby. that it's so bitter. I, we should keep sugar up here. No, we should not. I can't think of a single reason why. That's my arm you're licking, sweetheart cat. And he said, how far Thomas and Brittany from Mark and Rhonda? Thomas said like seven hours. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, well, Thomas is practically in, um, like, Alabama. Because the U.S. is, um, stupid large. And, uh, Pensacola's... Almost Alabama. Like what, an hour or two away? Something like that. And then uh, Mark and Rhonda are close to Orlando. And that's far. Florida's a very big state. Yeah. Florida's a very, very big state. Thomas, from Alabama, 10 minutes. If, you, if your car goes 250 miles an hour, you can get to Alabama in like 10 minutes. Easy. Super easy. <laughs> Chill days. In seven hours, you can easily drive across my whole country. Yeah, if, if, if we started on one side of, if we started on the east coast of North Carolina mm -hmm. and drove to the western point of North Carolina that would probably take 10 hours that's a long drive I mean okay question when you say that um I don't are think you it, talking it wouldn't about take 10 the outer banks like here because if you are from here you need to take a ferry no we wouldn't that wouldn't count so like what about like Nags Head because Nags Head Nags at Head's least a has good, yeah if you started at Nags Head and you had to get to um what's all the way out there that's tennessee like here yeah like there's asheville no asheville's not far enough that's okay, cheating so... murphy from nags head to murphy Oh, nine hours. <laughs> okay. I was right. Yeah, you were. That was. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. I was thinking that it'd be closer to seven. Anyway, 
So yeah, it would take it would take nine hours to drive just the length of North Carolina. So North to South is not as far. No, no. But I chose because you long... can take I ninety five, and it's like yeah, if you're dri if you're driving through it. Upwards, North to south, which you pr a lot of people are going to be doing because there's stuff on the east coast. As you travel yonder in, there's less things. Sapphire Becca, I-95 is so awful. <laughs> Impressing a limousine isn't complete without Tiny Eddie's lowland squirrel sliders. This really tells a complete story, doesn't it? Yeah. Sure does. That was a bit from Leaf who says, Tiny Eddie, do you have any snacks for a rough morning? Uh, when you're driving around in your limousine and um, you feel a bump, get out and get some sandwich buns because you've just created Tiny Eddie's Lowland Squirrel Sliders. <laughs> did I explain to you about the chipmunk line in Raleigh? You did. Okay. It's a very fascinating fact. So the east coast of the U.S., all of the capitals, like, a lot of the capitals in the southern part sit kind of on a line inland from the coast, right? Mm -hmm. That's called the fall line because everything east of there towards the ocean is low country, so it's like swampy. And when you get to the fall line, there's a bunch of waterfalls because the waterfalls go and then they fall down. And then there's lowland and then there's ocean. So it's an old continental shelf that changed when the earth moved around. Mm -hmm. So when they started making the capitals of these uh, states, they would have like the boats come up the river and they'd get to where the waterfall was and they were like, this is a great place for a city. So they'd put a city there and that became the capitals. Yeah. So that's where a lot of those capitals sit. Like Atlanta sits on that line, uh, Columbia, Raleigh, Richmond, I think. Anyway. There's also a chipmunk line in Raleigh that's similar. So it kind of goes through the middle of Raleigh and like North Raleigh has chipmunks and South Raleigh does not. So like you can drive 10 minutes and see a ton of chipmunks or you can drive 10 minutes and not see any. Yeah. Which is wild. That is neat. Yeah. That is neat. So depending on where you are in Raleigh, you can see or not see a chipmunk. Uh, when we lived in Myrtle Beach, we had, um, what are they called? Fox squirrels. Fox squirrels. They look like little bears. Yeah, they look like tiny little sun bears. And, um, they're very, very cute. I don't think we have them here. No, we don't. But, um, they're, they're very, very cute. If you've never seen them, Google image search a fox squirrel. They're extremely cute. Yeah, like, we're weirdly cute. Like, when you see them, you'd be like, that's cuter than it should be. <laughs> but, yeah, that we used to... They Sorry, used not to... fox. Oh, my God. Fox squirrels are like gray squirrels. Oh. Um. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just agreeing with anything Mouse says. I'm like, that's correct. That's the thing. It's is a it... black fox squirrel. Oh, black fox squirrel. That's what it is. Google black fox squirrel. <laughs> They're the ones that are cute. They're the ones that are cute. They look like little sun bears. They're so cute. They do look like little bears. They're very... And, like, we had them all over the neighborhood. Yeah. And it was so nice to go for a walk and you'd see them all over. And they're friendly. They're way more friendly than, like, gray squirrels. Yeah. Right? Aren't they cute? They're They're very super cute. cute. Mm-hmm. They're super, super cute. Yeah, you can show them on screen if you want to put a picture of a black fox squirrel into the art queue so we can just show everybody. Uh, we also had 47 months from Pete Cow. Thank you, Pete. Yeah, those, I, those, that's a critter that I miss. Like, just walking around. Yeah. You know, like critter that. I don't miss? Uh, gators. Alligators, black widows. I mean, we have black widows here, but they're not actively, there's not a, a colony living in our garage. Um, we also lost uh, two venomous snakes. Mm -hmm. By moving here. So instead of having four, we only have two here. Mm -hmm. um, what, swamp puppies? 
I mean, a lot of the animals are still the same. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Look at that little guy. That's the black fox squirrel. And it does look like a little bear. It's very cute. I love it. He a little fella. The only reason Steven said colony with Black Widows is because we had more than one in the garage. So it felt like a whole bunch of them. Mark says, have you ever seen a crocodile chase a laser pointer? <laughs> I haven't. I have. I've seen an alligator chase one on a video. That's funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't have alligators everywhere. They don't get up above the fall line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because in Myrtle Beach, like, they're, they're there. But yeah, they are there. <laughs> they just live there. And still, it's not as many as... Uh, Florida. Florida. I did not expect that when we visited my dad and stepmom. Yeah. Because, like, they're near Orlando. And, like, there's a lot there. Yeah, because... Like, the, I thought they were way more coastal yeah. than, like, Orlando. We did a... We, well, there's there's some vlogs that we shot yeah. when we visited them. And there's a lot. Yeah. Like, it's not like, oh, we saw a gator. It's like, we walked... And saw multiple like gators. Like, 500 feet, and there's several. Like, just chilling. And I'm like, huh. They vibing. They really vibing. In Myrtle Beach, they'd show up in people's um, backyards. Yeah. Like if they lived, like uh, next to, because a lot of there's a lot of uh, golf courses in Myrtle Beach where they build neighborhoods like as part of the golf course, so people can get old and retire and retire on a golf course and play golf every day. Coffee. And um, because those have a lot of bodies of water, there'd be a lot of gators. So sometimes you'd go outside and there would just be like a gator on the embankment in your backyard and you'd be like oh yeah do not touch is that the last of it <laughs> you know what the other thing is all of the recent tea I've had. Okay. Because um, I was drinking quite a bit of black tea when I was sick. Yes. And I was putting honey in it for my throat. Ah, so now you're like, this does not have honey. Yeah, like, and that's fine. That's that's how I always drank tea, was mm -hmm. black. But <laughs> having had sweetened tea for like two weeks, my brain's like, why is this bitter? <laughs> why isn't this, why isn't this taste like honey? <laughs> We get there into bits of shy who says good morning here requesting the good vibes it's my sister's wedding this weekend and we are all very excited good vibes good vibes i hope it is fun i hope everyone's got a uh, has a good time and you make some really great memories it is stressful you just experienced i guess uh, 15 months ago yeah um <laughs> i was gonna say 15 months ago relative to the time when you were born true Relative to the time that you were born, uh, you just experienced your sister's wedding. Yeah. And it was good. Mm -hmm. That was a fun experience. This is the premiere music. I get, yeah, I guess a vlog will premiere in 15 minutes, as long as I scheduled it correctly, because... Did you? Well, so recently, anyone that's, like, really paying attention might have seen that the February playlist is like chock full of vlogs. And that's because I've been going ham, is what the kids say. Do they? Maybe. Carly and Kyle visit 2024? There's no plans for that. They have a lot of other trips. Okay, yeah, I scheduled it. I tried to be cognizant to schedule- Jeff said he can bite the ham. I've, I've tried to be cognizant of scheduling the Tuesday and Thursday ones at 10 a.m. The other ones get scheduled oh, no, at like ham. different oh, times. I can't bite the ham. But I usually try to think about when I would be streaming otherwise and have them scheduled around, so. Patreon video today. Um, I've been pushing it back a little bit and I was going to do it yesterday and then something that 
should have happened didn't happen. And I was like, okay. So I pushed it back again. So I should be doing it today. So when you see the, the video, you'll understand why. So you're just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> when you see it, you'll be like, oh, that's why you've been moving it back. And I'll be like, yeah. Yeah. So it should be today. I re really hope it's today, because I really don't want to keep pushing it back. Like, it's the fifth. But it'll be worth it. It will be worth it, I promise. You'll be like, oh, that's why. And I'll be like, yeah. You'll be like, that was, that was, that was worth waiting on. And I'll be like, I thought so. <laughs> and then I'll make that noise. How much does Kepi weigh? Uh, ideally 14.8 pounds. Okay. That is his ideal body weight, as told to us by his... Best dad. friend. Yeah. I mean, 14.8 as measured on our home scale. Yeah. I think the vet scale reads a different number, but this is That's what ours... That's how we keep track, yeah. Yeah, so 14.8 based on our, um, scale at home. Good boy. So when he drops to 14.6, I'm like, no, no. And I give him a little extra food. And if he gets up to 15, I'm like, no, no. And I either try and give him, like, one less scoop a day, or I play with him harder. <laughs> that's that's ideal. 350 bits Radio Dread says, you went ham, you say? I did. I think the kids still say that. That's like a new term. Maybe. Three hundred bits from Satsy. It says, "I have an MRI on Thursday. Don't worry, routine thing. No vibes needed. All vibes will be directed to my brother, who has never had a good birthday, which is tomorrow. Anyway, beans, beans. Uh, hap okay. So, I know you don't want vibes, but have some vibes. But then also, uh, your your brother has never had a good birthday. I hate that. I hope tomorrow." makes up for several years of bad birthdays. In some way. Mm -hmm. So, super good vibes to your brother. Super, super good vibes. He's got flu this year. Well! <laughs> okay, well, I, I hope... That there's still something else good that happens that can counteract the flu a little, a little bit. A two-year-old, a four-year-old, his wife, and him all have the the flu. You know, I hope in two in two to three weeks. When your brother celebrates his birthday for real. <laughs> that, that's extremely unfortunate. I really hate that. I really, really hate that. I mean, it's true. You can just reschedule events, and sometimes yeah. you have to. Um, but if that's like a recurring thing, like, I really hate that. I really hate that for him. I hope that uh, everyone gets healed up soon. <laughs> Real, real soon. I haven't updated Beans yet, but I'll be doing that uh, today. Probably today. Well, that's a content animal. He's just so happy. Little guy. Right. He doing a good. Three bits from Pastry Bear Plays. Uh, who says, good vibes to all. All three of our pups are doing well after their dental procedures last week. Good. Good. Very good. Love to hear that. Kep had a, a tooth removed, was it last year? Last year. It was before we moved. Oh, yeah. Before, okay. Sorry. It's. I have to then remember that we used to live in a different place. Yeah. It's coming up to a year. We used to live in a different place for nine months. <sighs> We've lived here longer. Yeah. 
We lived here longer. We started renting this place in April last year. Mm -hmm. So we're we're just about at a year. And we have this place for another year. Yes. And maybe longer. Probably longer. If we tell them, hey, more, please. Yeah. They wouldn't raise our rent. Hopefully not. That would be insane. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. There are lyrics in this. You know what that means. Yeah. It means no. There's not many lyrics. I'll let it play. I'll let it play for now. It sounds like it's just kind of like... In the background? Yeah. Yeah, like underwater from another room. Underwater in another room? What, what is your house like? Oh, that's the aquarium room. Just a big old... Onsen. I want that. You did an entire room in your house dedicated to... A friend of mine growing up had a hot tub in her basement and they had like fake... Someone had come down and paint like the walls of that room. So it looked like you were looking out to the ocean. That's interesting. I guess a basement is a place you could put a hot tub. It just seems like, cause basements tend to be very damp, that you shouldn't put more damp down there. You'd need like a dehumidifier running. Yeah. But like basements have holes at the bottom. What? Basements have holes at the bottom. A sump pump? Sure. You know, if a if a if if you get a wet in a basement, uh huh. There's a hole for the wet to go down. A drain? Yeah. Yeah, that goes out into the ground, and it the sump pump takes it out to the yeah wherever they do. Mine took it to the ditch. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen George, basement hole expert. Listen, I've seen a basement before. Not many. I've been in a basement a few times. <laughs> Chess. Chess says sometimes the hole at the bottom of the basement is connected to the city sewer and the water goes up instead of down. Chaz. That's not your problem. It's not your problem anymore. Yeah. Chaz, you're, you're, you're free of this burden. You don't live in Indiana <laughs> anymore. You moved. God, that happened... Every time it rained? It was really bad. Yeah. Like, at any at any given point in the last 15 years, everyone would just be chilling and smiling and being okay in their homes wherever they lived. But then Chaz would send a photo of, like, his basement just flooded. <laughs> He's like, this is the city sewer water. It is in my house. Because that is what happens here. And I was like, oh. And that happened a lot. When we would be on trips, or if Chaz was visiting us, he would check the weather at home to see if it was going to rain. Yep. Nervously checking to see if it would rain. <laughs> I am so I'm so happy for Chaz on that specific yeah. thing. Like I'm I'm glad that Chaz lives here. He says it happened less after we spent tens of thousands of dollars, but not none, just less. Yep. I'm I'm happy that Chaz lives here for like a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. Um but that that's a big one. Yeah. Cuz there was Like clearly... the washer and dryer were on blocks, so they were raised up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rearwood Drake, did he have anything important? In the basement, and Chaz said, not after the first time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I hate that. Mm. I've only been in basements of, of a handful of times. My idea, when I think of, of basement, um, I think of my 
grandfather's house? Yeah, my mm -hmm. maternal grandfather's house, because he had a basement mm -hmm. with some rickety stairs. Whoa. You went down those stairs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. No, didn't um, we walk around back because there was a door? No, we didn't take... Oh, but you got to see them? I got to see them. Yeah. Um, that was a cellar. That basement? Yeah, that's my idea of what a basement is. Um, so you've been in my mom's old house. You stayed down there. Yes. Before that was... they redid, like, that half that was finished. Yeah. It looked like a cleaner version of your grandfather's because it was all poured concrete. Okay, yeah. When I when I when I first um, stayed with Mao in June of two thousand eight, uh, I stayed in the basement, which was like a finished basement. Yeah, but that was only my second basement experience. Yes, I think if I had been in another basement prior to that, I don't have particular memories of that. I haven't been in a lot of the basements. I lived in a place where th th there was no basements, so. You've been in my dad's basement. That's downstairs where the garage is. It's a walkout basement because it has all that glass and patio doors. The downstairs. In Milwaukee. What? My dad's house in Milwaukee has a walkout basement because it's not a hill. So, like, you drive around and you go into the garage downstairs. And, what like, house is this? The house in Wisconsin. The Wisconsin house. With the glass? Yeah, that's called a walkout basement. No, I'm just talking about the house. The house that has glass? Yeah. Okay, I have a vague idea of what that looks like. There's a... Garage. Yeah. The garage is separate from the house. It's under the house. Are you thinking of the pole building? I am thinking of a different house. Now I know what you're talking you're about. You're thinking of the Stevens Point house. Yeah. Wild. That was a long time ago. Yeah, well, I forgot that there was a different house, even though they've lived in that house for many years. I just forgot... Okay, you're talking about the house where our car was dead yes. when we got back from China. Yes, that house. And that was a very concerning moment. And really what started the process of our brains being like, we need a different car. Because mm -hmm. it was like six months later that we got the Subaru. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I'm on board. Satsy says, the one you made in RPG Maker. See, that's what you should have said. You should have said, you know, the house you made in RPG Maker. And I would have been like, oh, okay. Is now that... I'm on board. That's the one I made for RPG Maker. The Milwaukee house? Yeah. Stevens Point house? The, 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 Milwaukee, the one that the car got left. Oh, I didn't know you did that. Remember that no. there's, there's an entire vlog. The vlog, the day that we went to China. Okay. I didn't film anything. Oh, now I remember. And I re okay. well, I think I filmed something okay. and I was like, eh, I want to make an RPG Maker game. I so see. I recreated I see. that experience in RPG Maker. I see. Okay. Which is like probably at the top of the list for the least Chaz approved activity I've <laughs> ever done. Like that's so up there. When there's, if you, if you were to make a list of things that Chaz was like, what are you doing with your time? I bet that that might be the top. Like, instead of just filming something like a normal person, normal person, like a normal... When you have an entire trip of trip vlogs to do, yup. Instead of just filming it, which I normally do, I instead took like 12 hours to make a thing. It was, I had a lot of fun. If anyone has never seen that vlog, it's in September 2019. I don't know which day it is. But um, it's very fun. And then there's a there's another vlog shortly after the trip. I think that is like a behind the scenes of how I made it. Yeah, it was fun. I, was, I had a good time. <laughs> yeah, it was almost, that was almost five years ago. We had eight months from Shane the Destroyer and fifty months from Callium. 
Thank you. Uh, will you be doing another RPG Maker for your next big international trip? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that I'm sure that won't be the last time I touch RPG Maker. Um, but I, I... No. No. Why is it too bright for Cappy? Thomas, when are we going to play Dragon Quest Three? Next week. Uh, okay, the vlog should be out. The, vl the vlog... The vlog should be out. So there's a vlog now that you can watch. And that's great. I want you to see it. However, I also want you to know that in three hours at 1 p.m. Eastern, Mallory and myself will be playing Moon. <coughs> Moon. I thought you were stronger than me. I wasn't trying very hard. I wasn't trying very hard. I don't want to hurt you. That's the problem. Is that I'm actually I'm actually just so strong. If I were to use more than five percent of my strength, like who knows what could happen? The house is just. Can you hand me the clipboard? Thank, thank you. Thank you, Squid. Yes, that game. Moon. It's Moon. We're gonna play. We're gonna. We're. We're gonna. We're gonna play Moon. Um. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's at 1 p.m. Uh, I do still need to Flappy Bird. Yeah, you do. There's also a fishing contest. Is the fishing contest what we're gonna do today with the trick to maybe making it do a good? Do, 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 do. Is we sail our moon? Um, <laughs> yes, because we have to go to Wildcat House anyway. Because we have not gotten love from the cook, Kenji. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 300 from Jace Book with the other moon. Back to back moon time. Uh, yeah, the power should stay on. That it that it, to happen. At the same time, one week to another would be insane. So, like, yeah, it should be fine. Thunderstriker says, I missed end of last stream. How did your Flappy Bird attempts go? Uh, the power went out. That's how it went. Like, I had only really just gotten started. I had done, like, three or four attempts, and then the power went out. So... Yeah. But I still need to do that. You know, the as soon as you left the first attempt, I got to level five. You did? Yeah. Dang. First attempt. Five is hard. And, I've uh, gotten to five. Um, and as soon as I did it, I was thinking, well. <laughs> might be able to pull this one off. Also, CD chat with 300 bits for the moon alert. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, real quick. Things happening today. Uh, moon at 1. Moon at 1 p.m. It's, it, it's going to be a good one. We're getting near endgame. It's not going to be over today, but like we're getting really close to endgame. Um, nine, nine? Nine. Nine p.m. Eastern is disc only at uh, twitch.tv slash um, protonjohn. That's at nine. Uh, the Patreon video, God help me, I really hope it's today, but... It w that will be releasing later, no matter what, yeah. because Moon even and disc only are tonight. Yeah, um, I'll probably I'll, I'll film that in the day, probably pre or post Moon, um, but I won't be able to finish the video if I'm still waiting on the thing. So tonight, hopefully, hopefully tonight, hopefully not tomorrow. Bored soon. Soon. And then, um... Tomorrow... Yeah? Tomorrow at 1pm, join me on this channel for a video game. It won't be Starfield, because I beat it. Um, but it will be a different video game. You're probably like, what video game is it? That's a great question that I certainly know the answer to. So, see you tomorrow for that. Yeah. And that's it. I think that's it. I'm streaming it. Thursday night. Now streaming Thursday night at 7pm. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm all set. I know all the things. That's the stuff. Mm -hmm. We're good. We're good. All right. What is it I do? Oh, I tell people to go watch the vlog. Go watch the vlog. What's a good dome for today? What's our main subject? Kind of like breakfast buffets. You're still thinking about breakfast. That's what we talked about the most. We didn't even intend to, it just happened. Ooh, basement hole dome. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> basement hole dome. Okay, go watch the vlog.